Imagine archaeologists uncover a dinosaur skeleton. It's buried deep in solid rock, exactly where you would expect fossils from the Jurassic period to be. The surrounding layers are dated using multiple techniques. They all agree, this creature lived tens of millions of years ago. The bones themselves support that story. Their structure matches known dinosaurs, their wear patterns look ancient. Nothing about the skeleton seems out of place until someone notices something strange. Embedded inside one of the bones is a thin synthetic filament. Not plant fiber, not mineral. A polymer, plastic. Suddenly, the timeline fractures because plastic doesn't just rarely exist in the Jurassic. It doesn't exist at all. So the team checks again. They redate the rock, ancient. They analyze the fossil chemistry, ancient as well. They test the polymer, unmistakably modern. No contamination paths explain it. No hoaxes fit the data. Not a single test is sloppy or fringe. Each method is doing exactly what it was designed to do. And yet together, they describe something impossible. A dinosaur that is both impossibly old and undeniably recent. And every test points towards a history that cannot exist, unless something extraordinary happened. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. For nearly a decade, European Space Agency's Gaia Telescope's mission was to map the Milky Way with unprecedented precision. Not by imaging stars in detail, but by measuring their positions, distances, and motions with extraordinary accuracy. Gaia tracked the positions and motions of millions of stars, building the most accurate 3D map of our galaxy ever created. And it did this using a technique called astrometry, the art of noticing when stars drift, twitch, or wobble ever so slightly. Usually, when a star wobbles, it's because something is tugging on it. A planet, another star, or in very rare cases, something invisible. A black hole. Black holes are usually discovered when they announce themselves violently. Matter spirals inward, heats up, and releases intense x-rays. These are loud, energetic events that are hard to miss. But Gaia uncovered something very different. It found black holes that were completely quiet. No radiation, no glowing disks, no dramatic signals of destruction. Just stars moving in ways that could only be explained if an invisible, massive object was pulling on them. This is how Gaia discovered three dormant black holes, BH1, BH2, and BH3. And one of them, Gaia BH2, came with a companion star that would turn out to be far stranger than the black hole itself. Gaia BH2 lies about 3,800 light years away, quietly orbiting a red giant star. At first glance, there's nothing obviously wrong with it. It's large, it's red, it's nearing the later stages of stellar life. Astronomers have seen thousands like it. But when scientists examined the star's chemical composition, something immediately felt off. The star is alpha-rich. That's astronomer shorthand for saying it contains large amounts of heavy elements, like oxygen, magnesium, and silicon. Elements typically found in stars that formed very early in the universe's history. Based on chemistry alone, this star should be about 10 billion years old, born when the Milky Way was still young. Except, chemistry only tells part of the story. To truly understand a star, you have to listen to it. Stars experience internal pressure waves. Those waves propagate through the star and leave detectable signatures in its brightness. Analyzing these variations is the basis of astroseismology, a method used to probe a star's internal structure. By modeling how pressure waves move through the star, astronomers can infer properties of its interior, including density and composition. And thanks to NASA's TESS mission, astronomers can detect these subtle vibrations by watching how a star's brightness flickers over time. 
When scientists applied astroseismology to this red giant, they expected confirmation of its ancient age. Instead, they got a contradiction. The star's internal structure told a very different story. Its core density, oscillation patterns, and evolutionary state all pointed to an age of about 5 billion years. Half as old as its chemistry suggested. That's not a small discrepancy, it's a fundamental contradiction. The star's surface composition says it formed in the early Milky Way, while its interior says it reached its current stage much more recently. In stellar terms, it's as if the star has lived two different lives. Astronomers now faced an impossible object. A star that is chemically ancient, structurally middle-aged, and orbiting a black hole. It's as if the star lived one life and then started another. And the confusion didn't end there, because when researchers measured how fast the star was spinning, things became even stranger. Stars slow down as they age. They lose angular momentum, they expand, and spin more lazily over time. A red giant this old should rotate very slowly, but this one doesn't. It completes a full rotation every 398 days. For comparison, astronomers estimate that Betelgeuse, a well-studied and evolved red supergiant star, takes on the order of several decades, roughly 30 to 40 years. Against that expectation, a rotation period of 398 days is not merely unusual, it is difficult to explain. Something must have spun it up, something violent. Astronomers then compared the rotation period to the orbital period of the black hole and found it to be strikingly close, 428 days. This wasn't just a star and a black hole minding their own business. This system had a history. The leading explanation is simple, disturbing, and extremely astrophysical. This star did not evolve alone. At some point in the past, Gaia BH2's companion star, the one that would later collapse into a black hole, interacted violently with this red giant, possibly through a massive transfer of material, a partial stellar merger, or a prolonged accretion event. In that interaction, the red giant likely absorbed enormous amounts of mass and angular momentum. That would explain everything. The star didn't rewind time, it was rebuilt. A stellar survivor of an extremely messy past. According to traditional stellar evolution models, a star like this shouldn't happen. Stars are supposed to age predictably. Chemistry, structure, rotation, they're all meant to agree. This one doesn't. Gaia BH2's companion is now considered the first known example of a young alpha-enhanced red giant formed through violent interaction. A category astronomers didn't even know they needed. And as if that wasn't unsettling enough, researchers found another surprise. In the Gaia BH3 system, astronomers studied another giant star expected to show strong oscillations due to its low metal content. Instead, they detected almost nothing. The star appeared unusually quiet, suggesting that Astro's Ismology, one of our most powerful stellar tools, may not work as universally as once believed. That realization is just as important. Right now, only three dormant black holes have been discovered through astrometry alone, Gaia BH1, Gaia BH2, and Gaia BH3. But Gaia has shown that black holes do not need to be active or destructive to be found. Their gravitational influence is enough. More importantly, Gaia has revealed that stars living alongside black holes may undergo dramatic, life-altering interactions that fundamentally change how they age. The red giant orbiting Gaia BH2 is one of them. It didn't jump through time. It survived it. And if one star can do that, it's worth wondering how many others are out there, quietly orbiting unseen companions, carrying impossible stories, and waiting to be noticed. Somewhere in our galaxy, a red giant orbits a silent black hole, spinning faster than it should, carrying chemical memories older than Earth itself. 
It looks wrong, it behaves wrong, and yet it exists. Which is often how science advances, not through neat answers, but through objects that refuse to behave. And that's what makes this star so unsettling. Because if one star can rewrite its own history, how many others are out there quietly doing the same? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.